Hello, and welcome to our short introduction to the Easy 10 EVK, or Evaluation Kit. The Easy 10 EVK is a 1RU size rack mountable evaluation system for Matnica's ST2110IP core and the Easy 10 system on a module that can work as an STI to IP gateway. It supports the SMPTE 2110 family of standards, including ST2059-1 and 2, as well as ST2022-7 for seamless protection switching using the EZIS 10's dual 10 gigabit Ethernet ports. 12 SDI ports support a maximum of 6 input and 6 output signals in 1.5G SDI, or 3 inputs and 3 outputs in 3G SDI. The included and intuitive web user interface is used to control the behavior of the system, including connections and ST2110 settings. For software developers, the optional SDI and NMOS control packages are available. The Easy 10 is a perfect way to evaluate the benefits of ST2110 in a broadcast system. And for equipment manufacturers looking to adopt Matnica's ST2110 IP core or system on a module into their products, in addition, the EVK works as a fully featured SDI to IP gateway, either standalone or controlled by an NMOS broadcast controller when purchased with that option. If you are looking to add SDI-based video to your already existing IP network, the Easy 10 EVK is a great choice. Now, let's take a quick tour of the web user interface. This is the top page of the web GUI. Clicking the corresponding icons will take you to different sections of the web application. As you can see, we can enter primary and secondary PTP settings for VLAN IDs, IP addresses, TTL, and TOS. This one is for the domain number. By entering the domain number of the PTP Grandmaster Clock equipment here, the EZ10 EVK can connect up with the Grandmaster and synchronize the clock. In this demo, we already hooked up the Grandmaster and EZ10 EVK units through a network switch. So just by clicking on this on button, the PTP clock will start to sync up. Once the sync state status changes to synced, it is completely locked to the Grandmaster. We have another Easy 10 EVK on the other side, so let's do the same here. Now we have two Easy 10 EVKs in sync with the Grandmaster PTP. Let's move on to the NCAP and DCAP pages. First, let's look at the settings for NCAP, or Encapsulation Block, which is responsible for receiving the SDI video signals and sending them out as IP streams. Now we can see that the SDI cable is already connected to SDI Channel 1, with the video flowing into the system in the format of 1080i at 59.94Hz. Also, we can set the VLAN tags, destination IP addresses, and source IP addresses to allocate to the SDI channels of the EZ10 EVK. Once the IP connection is established, this part starts to show the packet counts going up. This section on the right shows occurrences of any data loss. By flipping the SDI input to on, the packet count goes up like this, which means the ST2110 IP stream is going out. Let's see the GUI for the other Easy 10 EBK. Now it's receiving the stream, so we have to set the decap, or decapsulation function, for this one as well. Each of these represents the SDI output channel on the EVK. In this case, only channel 1 has the SDI cable connected. You can set the multicast address here. For this demo, we have already set the IP address to match the other side. Therefore, we can simply hit the button here to start receiving the IP stream. And we can again see the packet count going up, and the video is now coming out of our monitor, as you can see. By pressing this network icon, we can take a quick look at some of the network settings, such as VLAN IPs for both primary and secondary IP ports, IP addresses, and gateway addresses. These boxes indicate the stream byte counts and receive byte counts. The same for the secondary port is listed here. We can also set the control port addresses. Finally, the system icon takes us to the page for various information and miscellaneous settings and control. It's nice to know that we can see the temperature of the die of the FPGA in the system, which right now shows 63 degrees Celsius. While we're developing our application, we can use these buttons to see various details of the system, such as the FPGA IP core version information, 
We can also manage the various logs stored in a Linux system. We can even power down or reset the system right from the web interface. Down here, we can set the clock used for the SDI ports, which depends upon the frequency that we are using. For instance, we are now using 59.94 Hz, which means that we need to choose 48.35 MHz. If your video is either 50 or 60 Hz, then you will change this setting to 48.5 MHz. The EZ10 EVK features a reference clock output as well. This is where we can choose either NTSC or PAL. This box and the slider bar allows us to adjust the timing of the reference lock output so that we can hit the alignment point precisely. This last part gives us what we need to set the MAC addresses of the IP ports for both the primary and secondary sides. Well-made system is simple not only in its high-level interface, but also underneath. That describes the EZ10 EVK, and we will demonstrate that with a look at the command line interface. In this demo, we will show the transmit or NCAP side. First, we send the command to enable both primary and secondary IP ports. Since we are not using the VLAN function in this setup, we give it the commands to disable VLAN for both ports. Now let's set the multicast address. Next, we set the EZ10 EVK source address. Then we set the payload type. And the final setting is the SDI format. And now the command to turn video on, and we see the result. The video appears on the monitor, just as we saw when using the web interface. As you can see from this diagram, the EZ10 EVK seamlessly integrates synchronized SDI sources and receivers into a redundant 10 gigabit SD2110 IP broadcast video system. For more information, please visit us at matnicatech.com.